Cycling has already changed these kids' lives, but today was a first for most of them, a trip to Robben Island. It's been a 12-year partnership between the Sports Trust, Nedbank, the Western Cape Department of Cultural Affairs and Sport, and Cycling South Africa. Cyclists will be provided with more opportunities to go further in the sport, but today's trip was also about enhancing education through sport. All the kids here are involved in cycling program, so we want to show them that with perseverance they can achieve their goals, similar to the political leaders that were uh, incarcerated in this place who achieved their goal, which was the freedom of the country. We enjoyed democracy today because of what they've done. It's a cycling program's record to have 90 development cyclists competing in this year's Cape Town Cycle Tour. 20 of these cyclists form part of the program's elite team, which may potentially be selected to represent Western Province and South Africa. I think this, the cyclists coming to Robben Island is just such a humbling experience. And I must say that sports trust, they, in, they go beyond the call of duty to enhance the children to come here and just so that they can be just a full round of being. It was an unforgettable experience for the kids. Yeah, it's, uh, it feels very good because I've never been here. It's, um, it's a lifetime experience to me. Yeah, it's been a real educational day. I've been. I didn't really know about what it's like here, but today it was a real hard. Can't get the word, but it, it was really good. It's my first time here at, at the Robben Island and the experience here for me is quite um, tough to learn about how all the prisoners had to live their life on the prison of Robben Island. A wonderful program not only to tackle social ills and increase wellness, but to encourage the youth to participate in cycling and to make positive contributions to society. Craig Murray, SABC News, Robben Island.